Hyundai Rotom has officially registered a forward-looking tank design with the South Korean Intellectual Property Office, KIPO, signaling a pivotal step in the development of what many believe to be the K3 Next Generation Main Battle Tank, NGMBT. Filed under application number 30-2024-00341192 on August 26, 2024, the design underwent scrutiny before being approved on March 21, 2025. It was registered on April 17 and became public on April 21. The company paid the 65,000 KRW registration fee for a three-year protection term, with the design shielded under intellectual property law until August 26, 2044. Labeled as a tracked ground combat vehicle, the registration includes a full set of technical drawings and a formal classification under Code 12, serial number M001. The K3 tank Hyundai's proposed evolution beyond the current K-2 Black Panther, is envisioned as a response to South Korea's shifting defense landscape and growing operational requirements. It targets next-generation threats and draws heavily on lessons observed in modern conflicts, particularly the war in Ukraine. This future MBT is expected to eclipse the capabilities of leading Western and Eastern armored platforms like the M1 Abrams and Russia's T-14 Armada. The newly disclosed design features nine schematic views, offering perspectives from every angle, including detailed depictions of the vehicle's front and rear. It utilizes a blend of metal and synthetic resin components and follows a stealth-oriented design philosophy tailored for modern battlefield scenarios. Its turret has been refined from earlier concept iterations, now appearing more streamlined and less mechanically complex. Initial mock-ups of the K3 have been progressively showcased since DX Korea 2022, with more detailed models unveiled at ADX 2023 and Eurosatory 2024. These prototypes reveal a tank measuring under 10.8 meters in length, with a width of 3.6 meters and a height of 2.4 meters. The vehicle weighs less than 55 tons and features an unconventional configuration, an unmanned turret at the rear and an armored crew capsule at the front, housing two or three crew members. This arrangement is designed to isolate personnel from ammunition, increasing survivability, a concept similar to Israel's Merkava series. Stealth characteristics are emphasized throughout the hull and turret, with flat, angular surfaces reducing radar visibility. Certain variants seen in 2023 mimic the K2's outline but add advanced features such as a remote weapon station, RWS, with integrated targeting optics, an expanded unmanned turret, and accommodations for a crew module. One prototype even displayed a drone launching platform for rotary UAVs, further underscoring the design's versatility. Perhaps the most groundbreaking feature of the K3 is its propulsion strategy. The tank is slated to adopt a hybrid drive system combining diesel and hydrogen fuel, with the ultimate goal being a hydrogen exclusive powertrain. This initiative is a world first for a main battle tank and is being developed in partnership with South Korea's leading defense and tech research bodies. Hyundai Rotom's hydrogen fuel cell tech, previously used in the Nexo and 935 vehicles, will be adapted for the tank, enabling quiet operation, reduced heat emissions, and minimal environmental impact. This hydrogen-powered architecture promises significant tactical advantages, such as silent mobility and enhanced stealth, while eliminating reliance on traditional fuel logistics. With a planned road speed of 70 km per hour, off-road capability up to 50 km per hour, and a maximum range of 500 km, the K3 will be a highly mobile, self-sustaining combat platform. The tank's low-profile, rubber track system, and reduced acoustic signature align with its stealth and survivability objectives. As for armament, the K3 is projected to feature a 130mm high-pressure smoothbore cannon, stepping up from the 120mm armament used on the K2. This upgrade aligns with global trends favoring higher-caliber weapons, like the German KF-51 Panther. An automatic loading system will support the new gun, with both bustle and carousel-type autoloaders under review, though the bustle design is currently favored for safety and compatibility with longer projectiles. Additional firepower could come via a vertical launch system, VLS, potentially integrated into the rear of the hull, enabling the deployment of advanced missiles, possibly including air defense systems. 
Early designs also incorporate a rooftop RWS with a 12.7mm machine gun, UAV support systems, and a suite of counter-drone measures. The K3's electronic suite will be built around artificial intelligence, offering autonomous targeting, threat prioritization, and unmanned system coordination. An integrated scissor, command, control, communication, computer, cyber, information, surveillance, and reconnaissance system will allow for synchronized battlefield operations, remote control options, and full situational awareness. AI-powered algorithms will enable the tank to react dynamically to evolving threats with minimal human input. In terms of defense, the tank is engineered with layered protection. Its modular armor blends high-hardness steel, ceramics, and composite materials. Passive defensive measures include non-explosive reactive armor, NXRA-NARA, and optional ERA modules. The underbelly is reinforced to NATO Stanag 4569 Level 4 standards for mine resistance. Meanwhile, its stealth tech includes radar-absorbing coatings and advanced metamaterials to disrupt enemy sensors across radar, thermal, and IR bands. A model revealed in June 2023 exhibited many of these features and bore a resemblance to the K2PL variant developed for Poland. Cooperation with Poland was formalized in 2022, opening avenues for collaborative development of the K3, wheeled vehicles, and unmanned systems. This bilateral defense relationship continues to influence the evolution of the tank. Despite its ambitious vision, the K3 project has weathered internal uncertainties. Rumors in 2016 claimed the disbanding of the tank R&D team at South Korea's Agency for Defense Development, though these were later dismissed. Internal discussions are ongoing regarding the crew configuration, whether to maintain a two-man team or expand to three for extended operational endurance. Globally, fourth-generation MBTs are moving toward automation, heavier weapons, and multispectral stealth. Designs like Russia's T-14 Armada and Germany's Leopard 2A8, along with France's Leclerc Evolution and the US Abrams X, all reflect this trajectory. These platforms integrate unmanned turrets, AI support, and modular armor. Even China's latest semi-autonomous tank concept shares characteristics with South Korea's K-3, demonstrating the convergence of modern tank development. In this context, Hyundai Rotom's K-3 represents a bold leap forward, one that could redefine the future of armored warfare through a fusion of advanced firepower, AI-enabled autonomy, and hydrogen-based propulsion. With its official design now protected until 2044, the world will be watching as South Korea moves toward deploying the most futuristic main battle tank yet envisioned.